Welcome to the channel. Today we will explore one of the oldest and most reliable methods for dating rocks and minerals, rubidium strontium dating. This method has been crucial for uncovering Earth's history and the ages of some of the oldest rocks on the planet. Throughout this video, we'll explain how it works, how reliable it is, and what its limitations are. Let's begin. Rubidium strontium dating is a radiometric dating method based on the radioactive decay of the isotope rubidium-87 to strontium-87. Rubidium-87 is an unstable isotope that slowly decays into strontium-87 with an extremely long half-life of around 49 billion years. This process occurs in minerals that contain rubidium, such as mica, feldspar, and some types of igneous and metamorphic rocks. As rubidium decays into strontium, the amount of strontium-87 produced relative to strontium-86, which is a stable and non-radioactive isotope, can be measured. By calculating the ratio between these two isotopes, scientists can determine the age of the rock or mineral. This method is particularly useful for dating very old rocks, even billions of years old, and it has allowed us to learn details about the early geological processes of Earth. Rubidium strontium dating is primarily used to date igneous and metamorphic rocks, especially those with large amounts of rubidium-containing minerals, such as feldspar or biotite. Among its main applications, we find dating the oldest rocks on Earth, some of which are over 3.5 billion years old. This has allowed us to better understand the processes of Earth's crust formation. It is also used for metamorphic rocks, which helps geologists understand geological cycles such as the cycle of subduction and collision of tectonic plates. In addition, the method has been used to determine the ages of meteorites, which has helped scientists estimate the age of the solar system, calculated at about 4.56 billion years old. Thanks to this method, we have been able to study both Earth and extraterrestrial bodies, which has expanded our knowledge about the formation of our planet and the universe. Section 3 the reliability of the rubidium strontium method the reliability of the rubidium strontium method is high especially when used correctly one of the key tools that improves its accuracy is the use of isochrons isochrons are graphs that allow measuring the relationship between rubidium and strontium isotopes in several samples of a rock or mineral this graph allows correcting contamination or alteration problems that could affect the results in addition since rubidium 87 has an extremely long half-life, this method is very useful for dating very old rocks, up to billions of years old, making it one of the few methods that can accurately measure these ages. One of the best-known cases is the dating of ancient cratons, which are very old parts of the Earth's crust. These results have been confirmed by other dating methods, which reinforces the reliability of rubidium strontium in these contexts. Section 4. Limitations of the rubidium strontium method. Despite its usefulness, rubidium strontium dating has several limitations that must be taken into account. First, alterations in the rocks. If the rocks have been affected by metamorphic processes or have been exposed to high temperatures, the rubidium or strontium isotopes may have been redistributed, which would alter the isotopic ratios and could result in an incorrect age. Second, Contamination is another problem that can arise if the rock has been in contact with materials containing strontium-87 from another source, which can affect the isotope balance and produce inaccurate results. Third, difficulties with young rocks. This method is not suitable for young rocks, less than 10 million years old, since the decay of rubidium-87 is very slow. For these ages, other dating methods with greater temporal precision are needed. Fourth, it requires isochrons for greater accuracy. While the use of isochrons is an advantage, this approach also requires a greater number of samples and more sophisticated analysis to obtain reliable results, which can be a challenge in certain research environments. Despite these limitations, when used under the right conditions and with strict quality controls, rubidium strontium dating remains a powerful and reliable tool. Section 5. Comparisons with other radiometric methods. Compared to other radiometric methods, such as uranium lead or potassium argon, rubidium strontium dating has some advantages and disadvantages. One of its main strengths is the ability to date extremely old rocks, which cannot be dated by other methods. Furthermore, by using the isochron graph, it is possible to correct some errors due to contamination or alteration of the rocks. 
However, compared to uranium lead, for example, the rubidium-strontium method is less accurate in rocks that have been subjected to extreme temperatures or alteration processes. In addition, the uranium lead method has greater temporal accuracy for some types of rocks. Each method has its place in geological research and the choice depends on the characteristics of the sample and the age that is sought to be determined. Section 6. Conclusion and Final Reflections In short, rubidium-strontium dating is one of the most valuable techniques for understanding Earth's history and the ages of the oldest rocks. Although it has limitations, its reliability is high when used properly and under the right conditions. It is an essential tool in the study of geology and has allowed scientists to delve into the history of the Earth's crust and the solar system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on science and geology.